you know, one thing I want to do on this channel is kind of integrate beautiful backgrounds. I mean, to me, I just don't think, I mean, like right there, you know, when we just think of just the bridge, but when you really consider that it has, you know, truly a, a, a rocky coastline and white water, and then you have a hiking trail, and I mean, does it, does it get any better if I were to just start right here and just show you that? And, and then I also wanted, you know, just bring other things that are really important to me. Like today, I want to talk about Psalms 91. Let me just kind of break it open here and just use the, uh, the bridge as a backdrop and just show it to you because, um, Maybe you can get something out of it. It says, He who dwells in the secret place. And then it ends on, He shall call upon me and I will answer him. So note, it says, He who dwells, He, he who lives. John 15 talks about abiding. And then it says, I will save the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. And then it moves on. It says, His truth and His faithfulness are a shield and a buckler. You know, one of the things with the Bible is there's so many words that we we either misuse, misunderstand, they're not relevant today. It says his truth and his faithfulness are a shield and a buckler. You know, I, I never use that term buckler, but I know that humans need truth and we need faithfulness. We need to we need to know um, that that God is faithful to us, and and sometimes the the uh, the voice of the enemy. Is so so loud and so obnoxious and so dominant and so um, relentless that sometimes we we just if you're like me you just have to literally go back and just quote scripture. In fact, the old school people they talk about reading the word over your life, like literally taking taking thoughts and imaginations captive. So how do we do that? You know, how do we take thoughts captive and how do we do it? I mean, that sounds. I took a thought captive today. Yeah, about 2.30, it was very captive thought. I mean, that's, that's not real. But one thing that, one way that I, I try to practice um, uh, renewing my mind is literally reading scriptures. And, and I kind of have this thing, if I don't understand it, I just kind of move on. And then I find something that resonates with me. It says, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. And then you can see what kind of resonates with me. It says, I will never forsake him, no, never talks about God's mercy, His loving, His kindness, but it just begins with, you know, declarations. It says, I will say the Lord, He is my, my refuge and my fortress, my God. On Him I lean and rely. Maybe that's not you. Maybe you just need to quote to yourself, His truth and His faithfulness are a shield. Look up the word rampart. That's a rampart. It's a real life rampart. You know, we talked about resonance earlier, and that's kind of a new age term, but I'm kind of a hippie Christian, as you can see. And, you know, this might resonate with somebody a lot. There's some people, they're like, John, will you just shut up and show that rampart? That's military. I love that military thing. And you're like, well, okay, well, then that resonates with you. You know, for me, I like the graffiti. In fact, over there, you can see where somebody graffitied the word gesture. It's kind of hard to read from this angle. But this, that may resonate with you. And for some people, something else resonates with you. Well, part of the Christian faith or the spiritual faith, and I'm more of a Jesus than a Christian, and what I mean by that is, you know, I just, I believe, uh, you know, when I, when I study the life of Jesus or when I, when I study the life of Christ, I want that. I want to be around that. I want to be that, you know. Um, you know, when I think of being able to speak and heal people, man, if I had that power, then, you know, I, I remember you know, growing up with people who needed healing, needed physical healing, and of course, you know, um, so for me, I just go with what resonates with me, and so um, for me, the bridge obviously resonates, the the hiking resonates, well, even the Bible, and I may, what I'm talking about today may not resonate with you, but find something, open the Bible, go to Psalms 91, or find another passage that you like, and just go with something that resonates with you, and what I mean by resonates is just something that just says, yum or I like or interesting it's a positive it says he shall call upon me for me I like uh, I like the fact that it says I will say Lord he is my refuge and my fortress well fortress what's a rampart 
says, you know, I don't want to get too esoteric here, but, you know, for some people, the idea of having a fortified military protecting them really helps them. For me, this resonates with me, just the sheer beauty of that. So find something and, and uh, just open up your heart to that and uh, maybe Psalms 91. And then read it until you find something that resonates with you. It says, he, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. So it begins with dwelling in a secret place. Mm, that's interesting. So that no power can with, with, withstand that. And then it says that we're supposed to, that he's going to cover us with his what? And then he gives all kinds of promises. And then it says that he will never forsake us. No, never. And then it ends with, he shall call upon me. So call upon him. And if you feel funny doing it, just think, well, this guy made a video. He didn't feel very comfortable, you know, just saying the word Bible. I mean, you want to you wanna eliminate a conversation? You want to shut a conversation up? Just talk about, yeah, today in the Bible, in Psalms 91, I really just, I read that over my life. And, you know, people, as a society, we've, we've kind of, we've fallen in love with, with everything but the Bible. And for me, it's, I think it's a little hypocritical that, you know, if you quote Nietzsche, you're sophisticated, but if you quote the Bible, you're some backwoods guy. I'm like, well, I don't think I'm backwoods. Well, I guess I kind of am. I'm in the woods. Find something that resonates with you and, uh, and go bless somebody today. You guys have a great day.